Hey, what's up everyone? Today I want to talk to you about something that saved me so much time and frustration when I first started playing Counter-Strike. Five things I wish I knew back then. It's funny, looking back now, after thousands of hours and countless matches, realizing how much of a noob I was at the start, there are just so many things I just didn't get and trust me, that lack of knowledge cost me a lot of games. Whether you're just getting started or you've been grinding for a while, I hope this can save you some of those mistakes or at least give you a good laugh as you relate to the struggle. Right, with that being said, let's just dive in. Number 1. Your mindset can make or break your game. I remember my early matches where honestly, the second things started going south, I'd already decided we're gonna lose and you know what? Most of the time, I was right. But not for the reasons I thought. What I didn't realize back then was that my mindset was the problem. I was already playing like I'd lost so I never gave it my all. Instead of getting excited for the challenge or thinking, you know, how do I turn this around? I'd basically check out mentally and give like 40% of what I was actually capable of. Here's the thing, you are not gonna win every game and that's just reality. But if you go into a match thinking, yeah, this is gonna suck, you've kind of already lost. Instead, switch it up, embrace the tough games. They are probably gonna be the ones where you grow the most. Start seeing those challenges as a way to get better, not as some punishment the game is throwing at you. With that, let's move on to number 2. You will not win every match and you are not supposed to. So speaking of losing, get comfortable with it. It took me way too long to realize you are not supposed to win every match. The game is literally designed to give you about a 50% win rate if you're at least in premier mode. I used to think if I wasn't constantly climbing, I was doing something wrong. And that led to so much frustration, I mean you know what it's like, those matches where you feel like you're crushing it and then the next game, everything's a disaster. But that's exactly what the matchmaking system is supposed to do. Balance the hard wins with the tough losses, keeping you in the grind zone. So if you're hovering around a 50% win rate, pat yourself on the back, the system is working as intended. It means you're improving and being matched at the right level. Yeah, there will always be smurfs, cheaters, those crazy outlier games, but overall, that 50% is kinda where you wanna be. And hey, if you got any tips or like stories to add of your own experiences, just hit up the comments, I'm always looking to learn from you guys as much as I'm sharing my own journey. Let's move on to number 3. Being the best on your team doesn't always mean you're a better player. This one kinda stung when I first realized it, but I used to think that if I was top fragging, I was doing everything right and yeah, those moments does feel great when you're putting up the numbers. But I'd still lose and that's when it hit me. It's not just about being the best player on your team, it's about being the best teammate. There were so many times I focused on my own performance that I wasn't supporting the squad the way I should have been. If you're out fragging your team, but not working with them, you're not really playing Counter-Strike, you're just playing another solo shooter. If you know a bit more than your teammates or you're just having a good game, don't just carry, share. Help them with their callouts, tactics and positioning. When you lift everyone up, you will win more games and trust me, those victories feel way better than any scoreboard bragging rights. Talking about teammates, communication is the difference between winning or losing. I'll never forget this one match where I thought I had everything under control. I was holding an angle, super confident and then BAM! I got wrecked from behind. No one called it out and I was just sitting there thinking like what the hell just happened? Yeah, that's what happens when communication breaks down. Callouts are your lifeline in Counter-Strike. Even if your team isn't talking much, you can set the tone. Call out enemy positions, numbers, even little things like I hear footsteps can make a huge difference. And a lot of the time, once you start communicating, others will eventually follow suit. So don't be shy on the mic, even if it's just the basics, every little bit of info you can share can help your team adapt and win the next round. Alright, before I hit the final point, let me just throw out a couple of honorable mentions I thought of just a little bit earlier. Practice your aim. Do not skip out on aim training. Whether it's custom maps, deathmatch or even casual games, putting in that extra time does pay off in the long run. And then find your perfect sensitivity. It's easy to overlook, but tweaking your sensitivity until it feels just right for you can really up your game. A good tip is to flick from one target to another in aim training. If you overshoot, lower your sensitivity. On the other hand, if you undershoot, just crank it up a little bit. And then stick to what works. Not every weapon's gonna feel natural and that is fine. 
focus on the guns you're good with, master them and build your playstyle from there. Now number 5. Do not feed the toxicity, just mute it. This is a big one. There is so much toxicity in online games and Counter-Strike can be one of the worst sometimes. It's super easy to get caught up in it. Someone in your team is flaming, things are going sideways and before you know it, you're snapping back at them and suddenly, the whole vibe is ruined. Look, I've been there, but trust me, it is never worth it. Mute them, move on and focus on your own game. Don't let someone else's negativity drag you down. At the end of the day, you're playing to have fun and to get better. Don't let some random player ruin that for you. And that's the 5 things I wish I knew when I first started playing Counter-Strike. If any of this helped you out, or if you enjoyed the video, just be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Also, check out the other video, YouTube Things You'll Love. I've got a good feeling about it too. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace!